All right, so uh, what I've got for everyone today is a tutorial on how to mix a song. Um, this isn't to be confused with remixing. Remixing is when you take a song and you make it unique in your own way without changing the entire integrity of the song. You change like maybe the chorus line or you might change the key of the melody and add your own uh, spin on it. So this isn't a tutorial on how to remix, it's a tutorial on how, tutorial on how to mix songs. So when you mix a song, you uh, take that song live and you might edit it and change it with things like a phaser, reverb, you might add some wah-wah or a TK filter. TK filters are pretty fun to play with. Um, this is this is going to show you how to do that. And so for the today's song, as you can already see from up here, if you tend to look around the screen when you watch a video and nothing interesting happens, it's Porter Robinson's Unison Knife Party Remix. So when you start this song out, you want to have... Uh, generally, when you want to... As soon as you start a set list when you're DJing, you generally want to have everything flat, which is no alteration or 50% of your level. So when you start this particular song, you want high and lows back a bit and mid up and we'll just press play when it changes into the second section you want to drop your mids and bring your highs up changes into the dropish part, you're going to want you're gonna to want to bring up your bass. Now, if you're an MC, this is the perfect time for you to get everything set up and ready for the drop. You know, pause it for a couple seconds, not as long as I'm taking, but get your crowd pumped up and ready for it. When you've got all your levels set up, highs at a 90 degree angle from uh, flat, lows all the way up and mids back behind 50%, then just drop. At this first alteration, we're going to change the high. After this, you want to bring it back up, but you want next time you want to take out your mids. Take out your highs. Next rotation, you want to bring up your highs and mids. Apply a break effect every now and then. But make sure you don't leave the break on for too long, otherwise it will stop your song. Cut out your bass. You're getting ready for the second melody round and then the pre-drop and drop. Generally you want to apply the same things that you had beforehand in the first one. Some alterations can be made. I just want to give a shout out to Jake Coppinger and Chris Ward Jake because he got me onto this song and I love it and I've been doing a lot of experimentation and I'm working on a remix of a remix which is kind of funny and Chris Ward because he uh, he wanted me to 
demonstrate how to do this, so I'm posting a video and everyone else can watch as well. Um, hit me up on YouTube or Facebook or anything, and I can organize something where, I don't know, we could meet up and I can give you a lesson on how to do it. So, get ready for the next drop now. Not bad, bit too early though. Doesn't matter. And now the computer's being weird and won't let me adjust it, but so I'm just gonna press play. Here's a drop pitch effect and I'll show you how to use it very well. Um, so I just want to apologize if you, if my speaking seemed really weird and out of place. It's uh, I had to use headphones for this because I'm recording through microphone, but I'm also recording speakers. And because it's something like this, you need to be able to hear what you're doing. It's really difficult to uh, to get the levels right, especially with the software I'm using. I can't lower the PC sound, so I have to make it all sort of even. So I had headphones on because if I was using speakers, you'd be able to hear it through the microphone. And because it's also recording the computer audio, so that's kind of annoying. Um, so that's why I've had to do it the way I have. If I seemed retarded and I stopped mid-sentence, it's just because I was thinking about what I was going to say while trying to do something which sort of just put me off, but I hope you understood what I was talking about. So, yeah, um, anyone who's looking to DJ or anything, this is a really good bit of software to use. It's really easy to get around. It's a free version. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate the pro version because it's kind of expensive and not many people would be pretty keen on paying that much money for something they might only do as a hobby. I kind of want to take this to the next level and have a sub-career with this sort of thing. Um, like I said, I I did say that I'd be bringing out uh, an EP of remixes mid-year, um, unlike forthcoming, which was uh, uh, early 2013. So. I really don't think I'm going to be getting around to getting out second beginning midway through this year. So I apologize to everyone who might have been in anticipation for it because they heard my teaser that I put up on Facebook, but it's not going to happen. I've got a lot going on, especially with college and whatnot. Um, but anyway, so if you guys want any tips or anything on how to use this, feel free to talk to me via Facebook or uh, school if you want to talk to me then I'm sure we could organize some sort of time I've got C-Line off um, yeah I hope someone out there at least got something out of this and finds it helpful if you've got any questions or you've got any requests for songs you want me to mix or songs a few songs two or three max if you want me to make a mixtape of uh, let me know and I'll try and get that done for you uh, over the next I'm not gonna be able to do anything next weekend, it's my birthday, uh, not on the weekend, it's on Thursday, but I'm going to be busy all weekend, um, so I'm just taking some relaxing hours off from doing things like this and gaming, so probably the weekend after that, because that's when holidays start, um, yeah, so hit me up, I will get onto that, if there's any tracks you want me to remix even, I'm sure I can get around to that once I've finished working on a couple things on Second Beginning. Um, 
if you'd like a copy of forthcoming uh, please let me know I'll get that to you as soon as I can I've got a couple people who I'll need to be getting copies out to this week um, yeah it's it's five bucks for the album so super cheap and it's it's killer so I will see you all on a 15 sorry it was 15 for forthcoming second beginning is gonna be five dollars because it's remixes it's not built from the ground up so um, enjoy your afternoon evening uh, yeah have a good day I guess uh, I'm DJC Douglas James Kahneman I will talk to you all later.